Okay, the wife and I are out here staining this ship well, with this uh, Hollywood Hunters stain, I guess. <laughs> Watch out, son. I'm watching him. Um, I didn't have time to do the raised wood effect right now. I'm just kind of pushed for time, so we're just kind of doing this for right now. We spray it on and then take the broom and kind of brush it in really good. And uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get it done. We got some rails already done up. I've got these three rails here, which is uh, two of the ends on the third level and this one over here is the uh, back level so uh, we're gonna stay in this and then we're gonna wait a couple of hours and all the magic happens I've got the stairs fixed this weekend. I've got all the railing put up. The cannons work out awesomely. I haven't had no problems out of them whatsoever now. We're expecting a storm tonight and Monday night. That's why he's all bagged up. I don't want the electronics to get messed up. But that's what it looks like so far. Or I think it's pretty well done. I am working on the ship's automated wheel. I got it working and I'll show you that here in just a few minutes. But I figured I'd go around and show you what I got on this so far. Yeah, she wanted one window on this side and the other side's got two windows. And I haven't finished off the back until after Halloween. And then uh, when Halloween's over with, I'm gonna enclose all this, make the trap door. I just didn't have enough time this year. So, <clears throat> and so when I pull it around back, I'll ahead, go ahead and uh, put that together. And my son can uh, play on it all he wants. I'm also, like I said, going to put a, uh, a door right there in the middle that he can climb through. Let me see if I can back up and give you the whole, the whole ship. Sorry about the wind, like I said, there's a storm coming. And uh, we had to bag off everything and take some of the lighter stuff inside. You know how it goes when you get everything put out, a storm comes, you take it all back inside, storm goes away, you bring it all back out. I think this is probably the third or fourth time we've done that so far this, this year. All right, I'll show you that steering wheel. 
All right, this is the, the automated chips wheel. I've got to, it's temporary right now because this bar is just a little too short. I think I can get another five, six inches off of it just so it'll anchor uh, back up underneath here instead of it being on one of these. I just don't like it this far out. I want to put it back here in the back. But uh, it works. I need to slow it down. It's a little too fast, as you can tell. It's a little too fast. But it is working. Let me give you a backup here. I'll tell you, if you don't get that angle right, that bar just binds up and it, it, uh, it's already bent. <laughs> I think I put it in there three times, so. And when I measured it, I measured it wrong. I measured it to where it was on its upstroke when this motor was all the way at the top. Then I measured from here to the wheel, which I shouldn't have. I should have measured it when it was all the way at the bottom and then measured it up to the wheel. So that's why I need another five, six inches. And I'll put on a, um, a uh, pulse width modulation or modulator um, to where I can slow this way down. It's a little too fast, like I said. All right, thanks for watching. Morum, 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 morum,